been a really busy day here so far. Uh, this morning we had some baking of cookies and some decorating the traditional Christmas cookies with lots of kids and lots of um, excitement about decorating. Mama made that cookie all out of frosting. Christmas tree, big star. So now it's time to make the winter squash gratin. Gratin. That's gratin. Yeah. Gratin. And, um, <clears throat> and that's a long project too. It started in the morning with Bruce peeling all of his lovely delicata squash. And then uh, we fried it up in some olive oil. Yuck! So, squash! Uh, yummy winter squash. And now comes the, um, the sauce. We have to make a, a yummy red sauce to go in the, in the bottom of the gratin. And it's, um, I don't like red sauce. Well, if you try this, you might just love it because it's got minced garlic. We know you love garlic. And, and I don't like squash. Well, you have to try this kind of stuff. It's going to be really good. And even Isaac loved it. And uh, I think Emmett. Might have liked it, except the, the sauce can get a little spicy because I put a little bit of cayenne. Cayenne pepper. Who could say no to that? <clears throat> Yucky if it's spicy. But we're on the fast track because not only do we have to make our vegetable dish, but we also have to make two batches of brownies to go over to the McDermott's. So we're having regular plain old chocolate brownies and we're having walnut brownies. Yeah. So, um, anyway. We'll go get better time. than some nice yummy cookies. What could be better? We're going to bring the cookies, too. What cookies there are. <clears throat> so but I want to eat the ugly ones. Because the ugly ones are yummy. They all taste delicious. That's but the my yummy favorite ones, ingredient. But, they, uh, but the ugly ones taste the best. Delicious <laughs> olive oil. Tastes good with everything, even brownies. got to coat the bottom of that pan. Then we're going to throw in the onions. Garlic, turn the heat up a little bit. That's a little trick Sonia taught me. Use the back of the knife. Don't dull your knives. Got my wooden spoon here. Nope, really not. Uh, spatula. Look open here, make sure I get everything. Hmm. Bay leaf. So this this dish is truly a labor of love. Many steps, but well worth it in the end. So if you have a helper, that's a good somebody to put to use. <clears throat> Peeling some squash, then it can be a family affair. So, and if you add some sprinkles into the brownies, they'll taste extra good. Or if you put them into your mouth, mm. those sprinkles are good. I want some more. All right, folks. That's about all we have for now. You might check back in later when the red sauce is bubbling.